In the meantime, you've heard of alkaline batteries, but what about alkaline water? Could that be the secret behind this life-changing slimming for one woman? Look at that. A doctor with a very different take on nutrition that seems to be working ahead on CNN Live Sunday. In our Fountain of Youth segment today, balancing your body chemistry to lose weight. A top research scientist says most of us take better care of our swimming pools than our bodies. And in his book, The PH Miracle for Weight Loss, he has a different take on nutrition. Author and Dr. Robert Young is joining me now from New York. And we've got lots of before and after pictures to show the folks out there. But Dr. Young, first explain this whole pH balancing thing and what it has to do with losing weight. Well, the pH uh, miracle and the balancing your fluids of the body is of utmost importance because there's some confusion here. It's not that we're overweight, it's that we're over acid. Because our bodies constantly need energy and there's a waste product and energy production, which are acids, if our body doesn't eliminate acids through urination, defecation, perspiration, or respiration, that acid gets parked on our hips, our thighs, our buttocks, our waistline, our breast, or in our brain, and this is what makes us fat. So obesity or overweight is not a fat problem, it's an over acid problem. Okay, so balancing the, the internal pH of your body, how do you do that? It has to do with diet and what we eat? Well, you do it with what you eat, what you drink, even your thoughts can make you over acidic. And so it's really important to focus on more alkaline, more alkalizing foods like okay. spinach and parsley right, or wait, celery. I have to explain the side panel on the screen. We're listing a bunch of acidic foods. These are the foods you're saying that we should avoid: beef, chicken, dairy products. I mean, those are really the foundation of most people's diets. Well, the foundation of most people's diet, the standard American diet, is over acid. And when we're over acid, this is what makes us sick, tired, and overweight. So animal proteins and dairy products, even the wrong kind of water, acidic water, if we're drinking carbonated water, these are acids that build up in the system. And if not eliminated, uh -huh. they build up in our fatty tissues, in our connective tissues, and it's acid that makes us fat. So you're saying that we should be more green. We should eat more greens, like you're listing leafy greens and cucumbers, olive oils. Exactly. We need to move more to an alkalizing diet, more green foods and green, uh, drinks, and also good healthy fats. Uh, good healthy fats like from fish, sea bass, trout, salmon, even mackerel or tuna, mm -hmm. as well as uh, seed oils like flaxseed or hemp seed, olive oil. These fats can actually neutralize acidity and help us to become more healthy and more energetic and help us to maintain our ideal healthy weight. All right. So what do you eat for breakfast? I mean, you can't have cheese, you can't have eggs, you can't have dairy. Well, this is where my wife comes in. I mean, she has created some incredible recipes. Uh, Shelly, the co-author of The PH Miracle for Weight Loss, uh, has provided over a hundred recipes in the PH Miracle book mm -hmm. on how to alkalize. And one of the most important meals that needs to change right. is breakfast. And I know this may sound strange, but eating a, a salad or having a vegetable soup mm -hmm. uh, for breakfast, or even some steamed veggies, broccoli or some spinach, even we okay. uh, in the morning we make well, a, gr a green shake. Uh huh. A green shake. A green right. shake with cucumbers and avocados, rather than going to protein. Okay. We go to alkalizing Tell foods. Tell the kids it may not go over. Kick cereal looks pretty good sometimes at eight o'clock in the morning. Let's show some of the results, okay? I mean, Excellent. taking a look at some of these pictures, it's hard to believe that these people lost so much weight by simply making those, well, they're pretty basic choices there. When you move to a more alkaline diet, you can lose up to a pound a day. And, and it's it, not it, about calories? It's not about calories, it's not about protein, it's not about fat, it's not about carbohydrate. It's whether or not the food is alkalizing to the fluids of the body uh -huh. or acidifying to the fluids of the body because our body is only as healthy as the water it's bathed in. Uh -huh. and, and the pH of our fluids is balanced at 7.365. And, and you, you also say that exercise can make you fat. So you're saying don't exercise? No, it's not that exercise is bad, Is when we over-exercise, we produce lactic acid, and that lactic acid is thrown out into the fatty tissues, which can cause the body to go into preservation mode, which can then also make us mm -hmm. sick, tired, and also fat. All right. You know what? If I don't have to count calories, and I don't have to exercise... <laughs> no, you, can, you have to exercise. Exercise Ow. is important. The most okay. important part of exercise is sweating. 
because you eliminate acids through perspiration. Right. It's when you over-exercise gotcha. it's not good for you, okay? Okay, Dr. Young. So definitely okay. exercise. Okay, couldn't get away with it, could I? Thanks very much. Dr. Robert Young, author of The PH Miracle for Weight Loss. Okay, eat healthy. Don't forget to exercise. Well, losing weight is often all about fat grams, carbs, and calories, right? Well, not according to the author of a new diet book. Dr. Robert Young says the secret to permanent weight loss comes down to acid and the pH balance in your blood. He describes his revolutionary plan in his new book, The PH Miracle for Weight Loss. In today's health eating segment, Tamara is learning more with Dr. Young now. Tamara. That's right, David. Thank you so much. And Dr. Young is a nutritionist and a microbiologist. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Tamara. It's uh, wonderful to be here this morning. Well, you know, your diet is very interesting, I have to say, and it's all based on our pH balance. So what does pH mean for us? What well, pH is a measurement between acid and alkaline. And when you're eating alkaline foods, you're going to be healthy and fit. When you're eating acidic foods, you're going to be sick, tired, and fat. Okay, now you said, how do we test our pH? Well, it, really easy. pH paper, you just mm -hmm. put it in your mouth, mm -hmm. and the color should come out green. Okay, can I test mine? You bet. Here's one for you. Okay. And I just put this in my yeah. mouth, and then... Based on the color, it came the out color green. it came out green. So that's good. That's good. That's exactly the way you want to be because the more alkaline you are, mm -hmm. the less chance you're going to, to acquire any sickness or disease or become overweight. When you say the less alkaline we are, so that means in the foods that we eat in our bodies, taking our bodies every exactly, day. Okay. and and the liquids that we drink too as well. Oh, really? So not only what we eat, but what we drink, and also our thoughts can make us acidic too as well. All right. Well, you know, you got a list of foods that we should avoid, and we have some that we should eat. Let's get to the uh, alkaline foods that we have on the set. So explain those. Well, we've got sprouts, of course. This is buckwheat sprouts, which is a seed. Mm -hmm. Quinoa. Uh, we've got uh, English cucumber. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, of course, broccoli. And God's butter, which is avocados. And most folks feel or, or think that mm -hmm. avocados would be fattening. Right. But in reality, it's not fat that makes you fat. It's acid that makes you fat. So you can eat all the avocados you want. Tomatoes, lettuce, greens, even grapefruits, which are low sugar, are actually alkalizing to our bodies where high sugar fruits can be acidifying. So how does the acid affect our bodies and our weight? Well, what you see, do? if acid is not eliminated through the elimination organs, either through urination or perspiration mm -hmm. or respiration, it actually gets parked on your hips, your thighs, your buttocks, your breast, your waistline. So the body has to eliminate these acids. These are waste products from energy production. Mm -hmm. And if they're not eliminated, they get parked. So fat becomes a protective mechanism to protect us against excess acidity. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, and because some of the foods, as you just said, the with the grapefruit and even with this tomato, in your mind, when you think foods that are acidic, those are the foods that, that kind of come to mind. But but they're actually we're not. Wrong. But we're right. wrong when we because say that. of the low sugar, the high. It's the high sugar uh -huh. fruits that actually make us more acidic, where the body then starts packing on the fat to park the excess acid. Now, some of the foods that you say we should avoid because they are high in acidity are meat, pork, chicken, peanuts, corn, alcohol coffee, most fruits, eggs, dairy products, yeast, and sugar that is everything I guarantee you everyone watching this segment likes to eat. That's a big list. Well, but on the other side, the alkaline food is just as big and it's just as rewarding and it's just as satisfi satisfying. That's why the pH miracle for weight loss has over a hundred recipes, delicious recipes that are easy and you can get immediate results. If you need to gain weight, you can gain weight on this program. If you need to lose weight, you can lose weight as well. Now this sounds like a vegan or a vegetarian diet with some of the things that have been eliminated, particularly when you talk about meat, pork and chicken and dairy products and you leave us with a lot of veggies. But it's, but it's not. You can have fish. Mm -hmm. For example, some of the best fish are like sea bass, tuna, trout and even salmon. But you want to have the portions where 60 to 80 percent of your food is more of these types of foods. Which are more vegetable right? and more protein from like the nuts there. So salad it becomes the main course, okay. or veggies like broccoli, mm -hmm. and then you have a side of meat. Oh, so it's the complete opposite of the Atkins, really. Exactly. Okay. And you also say that we can add things to our, our water and, and what we do daily, and this is, these are pH drops that we should add to our water. These are the pH drops, and you can actually see uh, if we drop it mm -hmm. right on here, you can actually see it changes the color mm -hmm. to a dark blue, which is highly alkaline. All you do is put some of the pH mm -hmm. drops in the water to begin and alkalizing that water. And you brought some pictures in of some of the people who've been on your diet, and we have a picture of a person who lost, how, how many pounds do you think we can lose on this diet? You can lose an average of a half a pound minimum a day. Mm -hmm. So take how much weight you want to lose, times it by two, and that's how many days it's going to take for you to lose that weight. Now, is this formula anything new, or is this just something that through your studies that you've just 
bill works. Over the last 25 years, I've been studying the basis of alkalinity within our bodies and how it helps to help us be healthier mm -hmm. and en more energetic and help to keep the pounds off, too, as well. Right. Thank you so much, And the list is there. The Thank you very there. much. All right, David, back over to you. We've been talking about it all morning long. In fact, we've been talking about this book since we got it. It's amazing. Oh. Dr. Young is here with tips on weight loss. That's right. He's going to tell us why he blames acidic food for weight gain. And he has some thoughts on chickens. We'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> back with Robert Young. Mark, you want to All right, according to a new book, People Don't Get Fat, They Get Acidic. Well, that's the premise of the pH miracle for weight loss. Uh, this uh, book is amazing. It instructs readers about how to balance your body chemistry to achieve your ideal weight. Author uh, Dr. Robert Young is here with more. Uh, on this book. All right, we've been talking so much about this book. What do you mean acidic? Well, when you uh, eat certain foods, those foods break down to either an alkaline ash or an acidic ash. Mm -hmm. And if they break down to an acid ash, if that ash is not eliminated, it ends up getting parked on your hips, your thighs, your buttocks, your waistline, or even in your breast. And if you're eating more alkaline, and of course, uh, more alkaline foods like the green foods mm -hmm. and the good healthy fats, then of course, uh, you're not going to be packing on the pounds. Okay, so we've been hearing a lot about, uh, you know, uh, reduced fat diets or, or protein diets and that sort of thing. This seems to me that it has more to do with your own pH. Now, balancing that out, how do you find your, your pH and how do you know which foods are not good for you? Well, first off, balancing the pH is simple as uh, using a, a pH paper, kind of like measuring mm -hmm. the pH of your swimming pool or your spa. Oh, really? We keep track of that, and yet uh, we don't keep track of our internal fluids. But the pH should be alkaline, slightly alkaline, uh, like the urine or saliva should be alkaline at about 7.2. And when we're in an alkaline state, this is when we enjoy the highest quality of energy, vitality, health, and we flat out just don't get fat. Mm. And, and, and the reason for that is? Is because fat is protective. Fat is saving our lives. We need to learn to understand that fat is our friend. Really? It's protective. And when we're over acidic and we can't eliminate these acids through either urination, defecation, perspiration, or respiration, then it gets packed on our hips, our thighs, and our buttocks. So the fat is, is literally saving our lives. And when we understand that and appreciate that fat is our friend, then we can then begin to alkalize our body through good, healthy foods like the green foods like spinach and parsley and cucumber, mm -hmm. broccoli, one of the most important foods like avocado. Now you would think, wait a minute, avocados are fattening? Yeah. Not so. Yeah. Acid is fattening, avocados are actually alkalizing and thus make you lean and energetic. Well, in foods we choose, I've given a list in the book of mm -hmm. those foods which are the most acidic. Oh, okay. are... So there's an acid level for each piece of food that we eat. Exactly, okay. and ev everything that we drink to as well that's going to contribute to an over acidic state. And when we become over acidic, that's when the body goes into preservation mode, and that's when the body starts holding on to fat to park our excess acids. Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard some, some diets, they want you to get into some, the state of ketosis so that you're actually burning all the excess fat. Is that good? Well, I, I really don't think so. It's, it's a matter of providing the body energy mm -hmm. and through uh, electron-rich foods because our bodies are electric. We're kind of like that uh, energy battery, you know, the alkaline battery. And, of course, alkaline batteries have energy, and when we put electron-rich foods into our bodies, we're energetic. So this list of foods is in the book, and, and all this other stuff about the pH balancing is also in here. I, I find it very fascinating because there's things in here that I've not heard before, especially the body chemistry. And your, and your point about the pool water is dead on because you're right. We don't even know what's inside our bodies, yet we know what's in the pool. Well, if you've ever had a fish, a fish bowl, the fish is only as healthy as the water in which it swims in. And so our hu the human cell is only as healthy as the water it swims in. We're, we're, a, we're a body of fluids, body of water, and it has to be pH balanced at 7.365. And if it's not, the body goes into preservation mode. It tries to protect itself. Mm -hmm. And one of those ways is by packing on the pounds. Dr. Robert Young, you can meet him today at Borders at noon in Pasadena on South Lake Avenue. Great book. Thanks so much for coming. It's great oh, to thanks, have you here. Carla.